hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be learning all about IV cannulas if you're new here my name is dr. Mariam subscribe I am a junior doctor and I make medical videos for doctors and patients IV cannulas are an integral part of clinical practice and as a young doctor you will by far use them throughout the course of your career so today I'm going to be helping you learn all about IV cannula so that the next time you see them you won't be so scared by them so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to establish some ground rules rule number one is that IV cannulas are color coded rule number two is that they come in gauges which roughly translates to the sizes of the cannula and rule number three which is the most important is that the smaller the gauge the bigger the IV cannula and the higher the maximal flow rate so the flow rate is just the maximal amount of fluid the cannula can give in one minute the IV cannulas typically come from size 14 G to size 24 G and we just established that the smaller the gauge the bigger the cannula and the higher the gauge the smaller the cannula so the first cannula we're going to look at is the yellow cannula which is the size 24 G cannula this is the smallest cannula because it has the highest gauge and it also has the lowest maximal flow rate which is about 14 mils per minute this means that the maximum amount of fluid you can deliver through the yellow cannula is 14 mils of fluid per minute and because of this the yellow cannula is mostly used in pediatrics mostly in neonates so you should avoid using this in adults the next IV cannula we're going to look at is the blue cannula which is the size 22 G cannula so this cannula is actually bigger than the yellow which is the size 24 because this is 22 and it has a maximum flow rate of 31 so it's still considered small and because of this it's also used in pediatric population but mostly in older children as opposed to neonates the next cannula we're going to talk about is the pink cannula which is the size 20 g cannula so this being 20 g cannula means that it's bigger than the 24 g which is the yellow cannula and bigger than the 22 g which is the blue cannula this cannula is used in adults has a maximal flow rate of about 54 mils per minute and is ideal for giving maintenance fluid and blood transfusions next on our ladder is the green cannula which is the size 18 g cannula and this is the first of the white ball cannulas so being size 18 g means it's bigger than yellow it's bigger than blue and it's bigger than pink it's also used in adults has a maximal flow rate of 76 mils per minute and is mostly used in cases whereby you need to give fluid or blood rapidly so it's ideal for resuscitation like during dehydration or during hemorrhage the last two cannulas that we need to discuss are unfortunately the cannulas that i was not able to source so i'm talking about the gray cannula and the orange cannula both cannulas are considered to be white bore iv cannulas with the gray cannula being size 16 g and the orange cannula being size 14 g so which one is bigger <laughs> so because the gray cannula is size 16 g it's automatically smaller than the orange cannula which is size 14 g both cannulas are used in cases of emergency where rapid fluid resuscitation or blood transfusion is necessary the gray cannula has a maximal flow rate of 176 mils per minute while the orange cannula has the maximal flow rate of 290 mils per minute so the yellow cannula which has a maximal rate of 14 mils per minute delivers the least amount of fluid while the orange cannula which has a maximum flow rate of 290 mils per minute delivers the most amount of fluid so now that you've learned all the sizes of the cannulas and when to use them how do you actually remember all this information well let me show you so a way we can remember our cannulas is by drawing a little picture starting from the earth's core up to the earth's surface so our first is we're starting with the biggest which is at the crust of the earth lava so lava is orange it's the biggest which is our size 14G for orange, this is lava. Next, we're going to move up the surface to the soil. So I don't have a gray marker, so I'm using a pencil. It's the same, you get the point. So this is supposed to be the soil and it's smaller than lava. That's going to be our size 16G. So we're moving up. The higher we go, the smaller our cannulas are going to be. So the next part of our picture is we're going to draw grass on top of the soil. So we have our green grass here, which is our size 18G, which is our green cannula. Next is we draw a little flower, a little pink flower, 
and this will signify our size 20 g cannula and then our picture is almost complete we just have to draw the sky which is signified by blue which is our 22 g and then lastly is our sun with yellow which is our 24 g so as you can see the higher we go the smaller it gets we started with our lava which is size 14 g remember lava is orange and it's the biggest then we moved up to the soil which is gray or ash which is size 16 g then we moved up to the grass which is 18 g standing for our 18 g cannula and then we moved to a little flower here which is pink standing for 20 g and then we moved to the sky which is blue for our 22 g and then up to the sun which is 24 g our smallest so hopefully you can use this picture to remember so we've reached the end of our video and as you can see i've made a mess <laughs> in the process of creating our picture maybe i should hang this over here so just remember our picture let me know if you guys enjoyed the video if you liked anything leave a like if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe that's the most important thank you for watching and i'll see you next time